channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley. I'm coming out swinging today. You're not ready for this. All right. You know what's uh? You know what's hot garbage? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what Go pisses ahead. me off. See that? A broken cable of some no, sort? Not Looks broken like at a all. Cell, uh, iPhone uh, bent? No charger. But it goes right along the line with an iPhone and they have any other uh-huh. freaking thing you have to plug in today. Mm-hmm. Why, why do these all have to be different sizes? Oh, yeah. Oh, it should be universal. There should what be a, a universal. Yes. Of shit. Because I'm going to tell you what, with all the little gadgets and devices I have between phones and mm-hmm. cameras and lights and mm-hmm. all this other kind of stuff, I can't tell one of these from the other. Yeah. And I could spend an hour trying to find the right cord to plug in the right implement between oh, yeah. everything that we have. To, stupid. Yeah, there's stupid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's inefficient for the consumer, mm. but for the business, it's hey, oh, yeah. we yeah. can make more money because we because it doesn't cost us. It's and then it's along the lines of that too with things like that. There's planned obsolescence, you know. So mm-hmm. uh, five five releases of your iPhone from now, everything that goes mm-hmm. with your iPhone will no longer work. Yeah, um, you know, like when you could plug in headphones to an iPhone. Oh, we don't have the plug anymore. Now you're going to have to get the air, you know, the Bluetooth. They have the right? AirPods, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just bullshit. AirPods. I, enough of that. You know, uh, I, it's, it, it's, it, it's really stupid. Uh, there's, hey, look, it, it, it is, but again, I get it. You ain't stopping it. Dude, <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying I'm going to, but mm-hmm. it, I'm taking my stand right now to say that th- th- that. The USB plug craze is an insanity. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. Oh, I, I, agree. I agree. Different wattages, different levels, all this. It's just. I've had it. That's it. Yeah. Is that ridiculous. what grinds Andy's gears today? Oh, I got this little camp. Look at this camera. Look at this thing. This is a 360 degree uh, pivotal camera that will auto focus on anything that you got, right? Mm. It's amazing. It, it's really incredible. I spent 15 minutes trying to find a USB cord to plug this thing in to charge it up with before we came on. Mm. Who's got, who could piss around? Who's got that kind of time to piss away for, to plug uh, in yeah. a camera? You know? Yeah. Oh. Time is money. I get it. I understand. Hey, hey. I'm there. Hey, I, I, uh, I there was a little uh, inspirational moment oh. I had yesterday. I would love. To I, I'm it. rarely, ins- I'm rarely inspired by anything. Okay. But it's again, and it, it, it's a sharp contrast to the way most people are in general. Is my brother-in-law. Oh. So I'm going. You know, after I get out of here. So do keep in mind. You know, I go. I do my traffic. Keep in but, mind. Before you say anything, your brother-in-law is banging your sister. Okay. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> never mind. No. Sorry. I, I really, dude? <laughs> you really didn't? <laughs> Just saying. Whoa, dude. Unless he's married anyway. to one of your brothers. No, dude. Okay. Well, you're, dude, you're from California. What I the? don't know. I don't know what goes dude. on down there. I, this, I did not expect this to turn this way. Anyway, go ahead. Great story. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to the countertop business. <laughs> After I work, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a little tight. You know, I'm a little drained because I go, I, I come in here, I do my traffic for the TV and radio. We knock out this po- podcast. I got to write the news up and and do that, and Stress then get out the of here. Boom, put my work. Put my work clothes on my, yep. you know, my blue collar, you know, because I, I straddle that white collar, blue collar world. And the blue collar world is where the men are. And it was never a more, it was never more thoroughly illustrated than yesterday. Okay. I go into the shop and uh, this guy is uh, bringing a countertop off his truck. And my brother-in-law, Tim, is working on it for him. And he is, Tim is all bundled up. He's got a hat on, coat on. It wasn't that cold, you know, that cold yesterday. And I go in there, and uh, the other dude's there. He's got his shoulder. Like, he, the other guy 
had just had like shoulder replacement and needs to, he's going to need to get another one. He's working. I go, hey, Tim, you, you doing all right? You feeling all right? Uh, yeah, I, I think I got pneumonia. He's just there just boom, working, working, working. And like gets all, gets all that. And I'm sitting there tired. I'm saying like, God, I'm a puss. And I told him, I said, you know, why don't you go home? I'll stay here the rest of the day yeah. and just, just sleep. And he was like, no, so it's like, I'll be out, you know, and he, he uh, cut some stuff for me to finish. And then he went and, and, and rested a little bit on the couch and boom, back up, took it. It's just taking care of business. A six, this guy's 65 years old. He's got a bad back. He's got pneumonia. And he's like, I got yeah. shit to do. Okay. If everybody, hang on a second. Yeah. If more people had his attitude and the attitude of the guy with the shoulder replacement who's 62 and is still, you know, he's going to go and he's going to go install this thing later today. If, if not just that generation, because those are the okay, that's the okay boomer generation. Yeah. That's the one that gets mocked incessantly right. by, you know, the younger narcissistic, self-absorbed, self-entitled me monkeys of generation Z and the millennials, although the millennials are starting to learn. Yeah. Uh, and they're getting annoyed by by the younger people. But if if the younger generation would just adopt some of that, yeah, not all of that. I'm not saying you got to go to work when you have pneumonia, but understand that that can be done. That you can put in more effort. If you think you're working hard, you can put out a little bit more effort. And if you do that, yeah. you are going to make yourself undeniable. Our 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 place at the at the top of the world as far as 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 far as being a superpower we would be indestructible unbelievable but that that group is not going to be in the workforce very much longer right and there is not that attitude that's replacing them it's it's our generation and, and we were mostly let's be honest uh we were the first where we kind of embraced apathy as a virtue and i've kind of done that for the most part but um but i understand the value of hard work i get that and again it's just it's completely lost okay it's completely lost by younger Point people taken. it's just one of those yeah it was just inspired i'm like you know what i can put out more of an effort today and it's inspired me to go on like i'm a little tired now boom i'm ready to produce here i'm ready to produce when i get out there and it's it's like okay let's do this all right and and everybody else all, everybody else is this that's every that is everybody everywhere all the time now. I that's am, just where we are. I am beyond inspired. I I'm I'm ready to go run a marathon. Um <laughs> I I guess I guess the only question I would have to retort would be said say said brother in law came in and infected the whole shop and shut the oh, thing Jesus down for a week. Christ. Where would you stand on that? It's it's a fair question. No, if it's it happened, not a fair question. Yes, it is. We don't work. Okay, uh, we don't it, see. It, let, when you work, let me explain. No, hypothetical no, situation. No, no, the whole shop gets this sick is where, and nobody can work for a week. No, that's a fair dude, question. It's, it's a fair question. It's not work it had to get done. No, mm -hmm. work had to get done. Period. Okay, you work when you don't feel. This is just the di again. It's a different mindset. If I get sick, I'm still working. If you I get, get the sick, mindset. you're still working. I get the mindset. That's, so if, no, so no, we're not going to be. We're not going to be. I'm out. just going we to can't ask allow you. Allow that to happen. If, if by chance, it 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 was contagious and it spread through the entire shop, and nobody could do anything for a week, oh, what's what's Plan B? There, there is no Plan B. Okay. There is no Plan B. It's you don't you. It's like, can you get up and walk? Can you walk around? Can you do it? Yes, you can. Yes, you can do that. If and no, oh, you do these. Just this idea. is a different. It's just a different. Hang on, it's a different. It's just a different mindset between okay. that world, the manufacturing world, the blue collar, the lunch. It's 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 the mindset that I got to get this done. Period. This work has to get done, and I'm going to do it. Yeah. Cause I have to do it. I get that. And, it, it, and, and no, there's none of this. There's none of this. Oh, I've got the, well, well, what if I get sick and what if I get this person sick and what if, what if, no, get that shit out of your mind. Cause okay. that is what gets you sick. That is what brings you down. That's what causes 
a lot of people, and, and, and I'm not saying everybody, I'm not saying all the time. I'm not saying don't take a sick day. I'm not saying never do that. It's, but we've got, and again, it's, it's mainly the, it's mainly younger people and it was mainly their parents. Again, I don't blame a lot of the younger people. I blame the younger people's parents for, for basically our generation for ruining them mm. to a large extent by being too, a little too buddy, buddy. Love is one thing, but you need discipline. You need work ethic and you need attitude. The attitude, like I got to get this. That doesn't mean you don't have compassion. That doesn't mean you're not understanding of people having this, or that. but at the end of the day, you got a job to do, get the work done, period. Do it, have that attitude. There are going to be some days where you can't do it. There are going to be some days where you physically can, but if you are physically at all able, do it. That's it. God's spoken truth right there. All right. Never mind the people around you. Do what oh, you Jesus have to do Christ. for you. That's all. That's it. Well, that's the way society works. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You you missed the entire point, oh, but I'm didn't. used to that. I it's it. all right. I, it's I all... just offered I offered another thought that may have not gotten into your thought press. No, I process. understood exactly what you were saying. And okay. the problem is this trumps that. This okay. trumps that. Okay. It just does. Perfect. And 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 again, what's gonna lead to more fulfillment, what's going to lead to um, more production, what's going to lead to a better society in general. People worrying about getting sick from somebody working sick or people sucking it up and doing the work. And those who physically can't, okay, you stay home and that's okay. Okay. You physically Clear. can't do it. Clear on. All right. Thank you. Let's get into it. More missile testing in North Korea. And for those of you who forgot, that's the bad Korea. Uh, the test on Wednesday was the first for an underdeveloped uh, strategic, I'm sorry, not underdeveloped, under development, although it probably is underdeveloped, strategic cruise missile. This, according to the uh, Korean Central News Agency, this launch comes amid growing cooperation between the U.S., South Korea, and Japan. I, you know, this feels like we're just piling on North Korea. Like, we're getting together well, we with be. Japan and South Korea. It's one of those, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any one of us could just handle this, really. Yeah. But again, sometimes we like to run up the score, and I'm not necessarily against that. Moving on, this one's right up your alley. I'm, I'm ready to hear you come out guns a blazing. Crypto making a comeback following the 2022 collapse of FTX, the largest cryptocurrency exchange, the digital currency, shot up in 2023. Bitcoin up 155% in December, more demand. And more new funds are expected in the coming months and years. Now, you want to take a wait and see approach to this. I, I I feel the same way about crypto I did before the crash and subsequently after. Uh, don't ignore it. Maybe put some. Just don't put all your eggs in the crypto basket. I'm just I'm just saying exercise a bit of caution. But a small investment in it could pay big dividends down the road because this is another thing that ain't going away. So. You might as well jump on board. Don't jump in with both feet. Don't throw your whole body into it. But throwing a little in, probably a good idea. Andy O, the floor is yours. I I have nothing to say because clearly today's the day where you know everything. So I, I'm not going to offer any retort. What are you talking? I'm just all I did was I I it's know you game. have you have strong Okay, go ahead. It's a sucker. Explain. Game. That's all I have to say. Okay, if it, evidenced if, by, let me, let me put you ahead. this: if you can't afford your rent or your groceries or mm -hmm. car payment or anything like that, don't buy crypto, because chances are somebody somewhere mm -hmm. is going to fleece you out of your money. Uh, I think you know that's a good point. That's all I have. And to I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to. I wouldn't counter that. Other if than you have a superfluous afford... amount of money to piss away, do what you want with it. Buy a trip to Saint Tropez. Buy crypto. Okay. Go buy whatever the hell you want, you know? Uh, but if you're an idiot and you will, you will willingly risk this kind of money and, 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 you know, do it within your threshold. Like me going to a casino, I'll take 100, maybe 200. That's my threshold. And Maybe you hit it, maybe done. you don't. There you go. Maybe you hit it, maybe so you if, don't. That's if all crypt, I'm, I'm, if we're crypto is entertainment for you, go right ahead. 
Yeah, I don't know. Like again, if you're if you're somebody who doesn't have who, who it, you, things are lean for you anyway, and you've made a lot of bad financial decisions, which is hey, I, I'm king of that. But here's the problem: color me, color it, me, color me guilty. Here, here's who's getting pitched crypto: people who have mm -hmm. nothing think they can find the easy quick way to riches and the people that are selling this to them are predators they're not going up to people with really well healed bank accounts and saying you know what you're gonna get rich because you know why mm. the people with a lot of money in the bank they're smart they've got a lot of money in the bank for a reason because they don't mm -hmm. do sucker shit they like could... crypto well, it's well. There, you, well, there's the thing is, you've got a lot of people on the financial side, people who do make good decisions with their mo money, saying, "And we they're might not need buying to take crypto. a second. We might take a no. They are. That's why mm. this is this is starting to go. It's not just again. I would agree. I agree with you. If you if you don't have the means to do it, you don't want to put a large. Uh, that's why I said, dip your toe in. Don't jump in, whole hog yet. Wait and see where it goes because the the. The tables that I'm seeing, if you do some investigation into this, again, it's all speculative and people get nervous when you talk about speculation, but all investment is all speculation. Yeah. So again, I, I find it interesting and fascinating. I, I, I like the idea of it. I don't know, I, again, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the worst person to ask about this because I've made terrible financial decisions for the vast majority of my life. Uh, that said, a lot of people who have made good financial decisions some of them seem to be pretty high on it. So again, go I'll watch, take a wait and see approach. Go we'll watch see where it, we'll see where it goes tonight on okay. Netflix. Yeah, I, again, uh, that's that is that is weighted in a particular direction. I already know what I'm going to get from it. I'm not saying it's necessarily even wrong. I'm not saying that, uh, but it's not necessarily right. So as with anything, there's kind of there's there's two sides to the crypto coin, so to speak. We'll Do see, you understand? We'll what see you just how said? it shakes out. I want to ask you something. Do you understand what you just said? Yeah, that there's two sides uh, no. to the crypto argument. 100%. No, you said That's exactly the Netflix what I said. documentary is weighted in a certain direction. It, it, yes. Yeah, it is. It's weighted and it's yeah, it's weighted in that direction. I can I already know it is. But that's okay. No, they It's like this is dude, a process. It's like a process. This is, it's a, this, is it's a, this is akin it's a to saying, listen, listen. This is akin to saying a person convicted of murder eh, it's weighted that conviction's weighted in a certain direction. So all, all crypto is all scam. It's all 100% a scam. I'm here to tell you what. 100%. Better safe it. than sorry. Don't. Okay, that's different. That's different from saying go, it's all a scam. Go go watch BitCon. Tell me what you think. Okay. If I, how, how long is you it? You can't. What you just said oh, yeah. about it's weighted in a certain direction is yeah, excusing is. crime. And no, it's not. It's it not sure excusing. Is. I'm not excusing. You're, I'm not excusing anybody from scamming anybody. You okay. should be if you scam somebody, you should be prosecuted. Well, it's way okay? in a But I'm not going to throw I'm not going to He's I'm misunderstood throw, the way he was screwing no, people out of their money. You can it can be used it that was way. A risk that doesn't they mean took. the whole Wall Street it can be that way too. I know. It's the Why same do you think thing. I don't have anything there? The casino. But okay, so again, but there are people who have made wiser financial decisions than both of us right. who are pro cryptocurrency. That's why I'm saying I, I see all both you sides of this. I, again, see, why do you got to be a dick about I'm it? Not. I'm just saying you are. You're saying Here's the it's problem. all a scam or listen, no, I'm just listen, saying listen, be down. cautious. That's it. Here's the problem over the last week. You have gotten back into a pattern of being insistent and deliberate on all of your argumentative points to the point where an agreement really can't come and i know that we can't have the back and forth of yeah i agree yes i agree because that's going to go nowhere right we know that mm -hmm. but it seems to me that there is a repeating pattern in your delivery of news in our little show here and it seems to be cycling back up into the um approach that we see more often in things like Tucker Carlson and everybody else that are or Joe Rogan or everybody else that you listen to or are influenced by, which is fine. If you want to debate these things, debate them, but understand that on the other end, I'm going to offer the counterpoint point, like say mm -hmm. coming to work when you're sick, there is an inherent risk of 
you infecting others when you're sick. That's a reality. Okay? Cryptocurrency. There is more opportunity for people to get screwed in cryptocurrency because there is no understanding of it whatsoever mm -hmm. by the common man and those out there who think they can, oh, I got my opportunity here. So be for it. Great. I'm going to counterpoint with a more realistic approach to your, I'm going to step on the gas and show you how manly I am for going to work with pneumonia or how bold I am for investing in cryptocurrency. This is just nuance in our conversation that mm -hmm. seems to be going up and up and up on your end. And I'm going to guess that maybe your social media is getting a little more heated because you follow different things than I do. And I think we're going to see this for the no. next year. So no, it's not getting more heated hmm. and I'm not being heated about it. I was just saying, in fact, what did I say? Throw all your money into crypto, throw it all in. No, I said, let's wait and see. I said, proceed with caution. Okay. With this, you decided to turn that into, so this is all this, a scam. After That's this, it. All, and, go again, back and listen to the tone anything. of your presentation and the way yes. you're putting things up. I listened. Do that. I listened to it. All right. What's your final I've, story? I listened. To it. I listened to it. Finally, Jim Harbaugh out as head coach of the Michigan happen. Wolverines. The 60-year-old is heading back to the NFL following nine years and three Big Ten championships along with this past season's national championship. Harbaugh has agreed to terms with the L.A. Chargers as, I, as a Michigan State fan. Glad to get him out. It's a it's a loss for college football because well, he was the best coach. He was the best coach in college football, not named Nick Saban. So uh, this was this. gonna happen. I said, well, "Go ahead." What do you do when you go to college? What do you mean? What do you, you do prepare when you go to for college? a career? Yes, I think this is perfect. Harbaugh I did too. just what this he should have done. First exit. He went this to college. Is perfect exit. Now he's in the pros. Well, here's the thing. He was already in the pros. Right. You, well, did you know that? Back to school for a while. Yes, I did. No, he well, uh, well, he started in college, went to the NFL. Now yep. back to college. Now back to the NFL to try and get that elusive. Well, sometimes Super Bowl, we need which to do things over will, again. Right? No, I know. That's I, I totally, totally understand. There you have. Okay. It. Anyway, Harbaugh agreed to terms with the uh, LA Chargers. We'll see who uh, Michigan ends up hiring. Looks like they might go in house. I don't know if that's necessarily the best idea. Hey, the Detroit Pistons win. Holy crap. I'm 115 excited. 115 to 106. They beat the Hornets. One win, one game winning streak. They're 5 and 39. Now are the Hornets Way still to go, Charlotte? Detroit. Uh, they're back in Charlotte. They were in New Orleans. Were they really? Wow. Yes. Here's what it's I know about the NBA. Or if you're from Michigan, were the Hornets in Charlotte? Michigan. I like. I, you know what? I prefer. I prefer the Charlotte. Of course you would. Of course. I prefer it that way. Are you ready for Jeopardy? Go ahead. All right. It's four hundred dollars today for notable Asian Americans. Oh, this is right up my alley. You sure? Oh, are you kidding me? All right. I know at least five. All right, four hundred. Taiwan-born Jerry Yang. Co-created Jerry and David's Guide to the World Wide Web, which became this internet giant. Oh, jeez. <laughs> was it Yahoo? Yes, it is Yahoo. That Look was a you. shot in the dark. That was, I'm a blind squirrel looking for nuts. I get it. But that evened you out at 47,000 in the hole. Congratulations, Still Dave. under 50K. We'll do it again on Friday morning, which is going to be the exciting day of the week, and we will see you then. See ya! Happy Thursday, Miss Keegan. We'll be dry during the daytime hours, but heavy rain will move in overnight, so let's take a look at your forecast, brought to you by Trendy Health. Your weather headlines show we will have moderate to heavy rain moving in Thursday night, especially around 8 p.m. or so, and that will continue pretty much all night going into Friday morning, where we could see upwards of an inch of rainfall, and with the melting snow and the additional rain, some flooding is definitely possible in local areas, but it doesn't look like major flooding is expected, only minor flooding. And then over the next several days, through the rest of January at least, we will have daytime highs well above freezing. 
So the future radar shows by 10 p.m. widespread heavy to moderate rain will be moving into West Michigan. The rain should start around 8 p.m. though and start a little bit lighter and then increase in intensity overnight. By 1 a.m. you can see a low pressure system is moving across northwest Indiana which will help to create rain here in West Michigan and that will persist pretty much during the mid-morning hours on Friday as well. So for your Thursday, expect a dry conditions. There's a very small chance of rain, but most if not all the day will be dry with cloudy and foggy conditions as well with a high of 40. Overnight, especially after 8 p.m., rain will move in and it will be heavy at times overnight with a low of 34. So we're not expecting any freezing, thankfully, of that rain, but it will be pretty wet outside with a, possibly an inch of rainfall along with the melting snow. And then by Friday morning, some lingering rain will be possible, but it should be done by the afternoon hours. And then Friday night, a little bit of rain is also possible once again, but that will be very light and scattered. So the probability of having rain Friday night isn't all that high. Saturday looks dry as well with a very, very small chance of rain, but I'm keeping it dry for now. And after that, it looks dry and trending partly cloudy by the middle of next week and temperatures should be warming back to near 40 by next Wednesday. And that is your Thursday forecast brought to you by Trinity Health on the Muskegon Channel. Nine cold woods weather and have a great day today.